Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Bruce and today I want to showcase the Skoda T-17, the tier 7 Czechoslovakian autoloader light tank. Is this tank the new superstar on tier 7? Let's find out in this video. The new Czechoslovakian autocannon light tanks have entered the game and the line starts with the Skoda T-17 on tier 7. This tank however features a regular autoloader gun rather than one of those fast firing autocannons. However this tank fires rapidly as well due to its super short intra clip reload. How does this tank perform and is it the new best tier 7 light tank in the game? I will tell you everything you need to know so let's go. So to begin with, the Skoda T-17 is a light tank and so you can perfectly play this tank as a light tank and conduct vision games with this tank. It features 17.67 stationary and moving camo and this value is pretty decent for a tier 7 light tank. The view range is 370 and so this is, um, I would say it's not a bad value because there are other light tanks with only 370 meters of view range. However it's not a perfect value either and so you but all in all with the camo and the view range you can perfectly play this tank as a light tank the problem of this tank is that it has a huge profile and is very very easy to hit i think this is the the biggest problem for this tank if you play it as a pure spotter this tank features a 5 shot autoloader gun with 100 damage and 142 millimeters of penetration. Now with its 0.38 dispersion this tank is not very precise so as you can see sniping with this tank is hardly possible plus with this low penetration you will most likely not pen top tier tanks at least if you do not use the 2 key and load premium ammunition. But where the firepower of this tank really shines is in a situation in which you encounter a lightly armored tank like this Scorpion. And if you have a let's say medium to close distance and if you can empty your full clip you make about 500 damage with your 5 shot autoloader clip. For a tier 7 light tank this is insane and this is where the firepower of this tank really comes into play and this is certainly a strength. Of this tank. Before we start with some gameplay let me quickly show you how I played the tank and yes you see the blast right now simply because my crew has already moved over to the tier 8 tank however it is the same crew so um, my crew has brothers in arms then the view range skills on the commander then of course concealment and it is now working on repairs plus um, then I use communication expert on the commander as well as intuition and now i'm working on safe storage on the gunner and uh, yeah nothing fancy on the driver he simply is working on off-road driving and on smooth ride rather than on repair so this is how i played the skoda t17 and then as equipment i selected coated optics of course not cbs because you cannot use it on tier 7 and so i used um, vents and then um, I boosted the camo value with the low noise exhaust system. So that's how I played the Skoda T17 and of course uh, as I always do without any premium consumable whatsoever. Alright, first battle in the Skoda T17. We are spawning on Fisherman's Bay and let's first of all take a look at the map and see what options we have. Spawning on Fisherman's Bay in the south, this is how the game usually develops and with the light tank you have several options. You can go basically here or, and that is the position I prefer, you can go here. Not only can you spot those tanks here at the B1 and B2 position out of this location right here, but you can also get this spotting line and spot this tank which is sitting right here giving your tanks a huge advantage by um, uh, taking shots onto those tanks here. So this is the position I usually play with the light tank spawning in the south. So this is where we want to play. Fisherman's Bay is a perfect scouting map um, 
and so we want to exploit the strength of this tank which is it's pretty decent camo value as i said of 17.67 alongside with its view range of 370 meters now here it goes so are we spotted by this light tank yes so we need to first of all try to take a shot at least one shot and then fall behind this building behind cover so that we do not get a shot in return from the B2 or B1 position. And depending on what this scout is doing, okay, he's falling onto the, he's falling behind um, the ridge line on the one lane. So we can then reverse and go into this bush. And in, from this bush, we will be able to outspot those things. Oh, here's, an, here's a Sherman tank, okay. So you know what? Um, in this position, we will simply try to spot as many tanks as we can and simply um help our team to make damage okay the light tank is already dead um you know what maybe i can take a shot onto the m4a3e2 jumbo sherman maybe uh, here go this is what i want to see because in this bush not only can you spot all the tanks which are in the northwestern part of the map but also you can also spot the tanks which are at the typical um e6 position where the vk 3002d was spotted and this is why i like this this um this position so you know what i think we can try to take a shot onto this uh, sherman and then once we've taken some shots we can fall back into cover the good thing about this tank is that um, the intra clip reload is super super uh, super super slow or uh, so, sorry super super small with only 1.33 seconds so you can empty your clip and deal 500 damage within only 5.33 seconds here that's what i want to see nice at least two shots 187 damage for tier 7 light tank is not too bad within only 1.33 seconds as i just said and we didn't even get spotted simply because um the um the root of the gun barrel of this tank has been behind cover this is where the spotting point is located and so if this point is behind cover then um obviously this tank cannot spot us okay so you know what um five to zero i think we can make pressure because the game appears to be on the winning side. Our team has managed to win the heavy flank on the 8 and 9 lane. And now I think it is time for us to also make pressure and to continue forward. Okay, so yeah, um, we need to proceed forward. And you know what? With my remaining three shots, I want to make damage onto the Sherman. Here you go. Okay, bounce the first shot. Super unfortunate. And okay. 307 damage onto this tank and yeah close quarters fight is the strength of this tank due to its five short autoloader gun this is really the strength of this tank the gun is not really precise plus the aim time is not not the best one um but that's just how it is but if you are fighting um in a very close distance and if you can empty your your five shots and penetrate and uh, if you can make 500 damage then this is where the tank really shines now obviously due to its poor penetration value of only 142 this tank is either pretty expensive if you low premium ammunition or only uh, reliable in a high tier situation okay perfect so 653 damage 786 and now we have to rush into the adversary base in order to make more damage notice how i want to you know um keep driving in in a circular pattern in order to um make it harder for the adversary tanks to um to actually hit me and so yeah we can collect all this sweet spotting damage nice that's what i want to see you know he's taking a shot onto us we have to try to fully aim in in order to um in order to hit our shots and now all of a sudden we could increase our spotting to 2900 and 
if we can make a little bit more damage nice you go and once again this is the strength of this tank excellent so all in all we made um, about thousand damage about 3k spotting so a pretty decent result in the skoda t17 all right second game in the skoda t17 once again a top tier scenario and in such a top tier scenario this is where you can make use of your firepower much easier compared to a low tier situation um, but first of all let's take a look at the map and see what options we have spawning on overlord in the south this is how the game usually develops and with my light tank i like to go to this position right here because it gives me enough defensive as well as offensive potential and then later on once those tanks can be taken under fire and maybe taken out of the game i can then further advance to this position and try to make pressure on all those tanks which are in this position right here all right so i want to start the game from this typical position that's what i always do no matter whether i spawn in a light tank or in a medium tank on this map from this side um the very important thing is you have to knock down those trees just like i will do in a second so this tree has to be knocked down to the left hand side so that the adversary tanks are not able to spot you from the e uh, sorry e5 position okay here we go this is a suicide light tank okay perfect he's taken out excellent and so we will reload our clip uh, wait 10 seconds until we are not spotted anymore and then we'll fall back into this bush so let's see how it goes one one additional let's say um, drawback of this tank is its mobility the top speed is not very good at least compared to other light tanks so this thing can only go forward with 56 kph and this is a little bit less than uh, than than basically all the other light tanks so for example the german sp1c can go up to 58 um so can the setter the t71 cmcd for example can go up to 64 and the amx 1375 can at least go up to 61 kph and also the power to weight ratio is worse than compared to most of the other light tanks on tier 7 so for example um the mx has uh, mx 1375 has uh, 26 um this tank only has 24 approximately and then the um yes the the sp1c is a little bit worse uh but, but basically comparable to this tank and then the setter is much better at 27 and um yeah so the mobility is not bad but it's just a little bit weaker than compared to the other light tanks on tier 7 that's just how it is but i think this is a balancing factor due to the fact that this tank has a great firepower with its five shot autoloader tank and the camo value as i just said multiple times is also pretty pretty decent so that's just how that's uh, how it is okay so we want to move forward like this and then try to surprise adversary tanks and um, notice how i'm slowing down before i get into position so to give my gun the chance to aim in and that's what i want to see i want to empty all those shots and do 500 damage with my clip excellent that's what i want to see there's another tank which has just been spotted and um, notice how the reload time of the gun is also pretty pretty good with um what is it uh 11.51 seconds stock so this gives this tank actually a pretty decent dpm of 1781 stock better than the one of the amx 1375 and uh, just a tiny touch worse than compared to the sp1c the german uh, tier light tank and of course much better than compared to the set of the british uh, tier 7 light tank okay can we get a shot onto this tank yes we can nice and we'll take him out and we want to fall back we're spotted oh okay and we eat two shots fortunately the t3485m does not make any damage this was a bit um a bit fortunate on our side so let's now reload and let's try to find the next tank 
that we can punish with our five shot auto loader gun so here you go there's the leo this thing also does not have any armor whatsoever and so we will be able to here you go just empty our clip um, here you go and let's fall back a little bit and here you go nice wonderful so three shots onto this tank at least perfect i think we bounce one shot on the gun mantle which is fine and now let's see there should be another tank somewhere around here no where's the vk 3601h here you go that's where he is okay we get it okay we are spotted okay so <laughs> okay but i want to punish this tank so maybe i want to once again fall onto we flank this thing fall a bit to the left and here you go that's what i want to see you can bounce this shot super unfortunate and you can give me one shot in return which is fine and so i can empty all my shots and yeah within five shot auto loader tank all of a sudden you can make uh, 1800 damage and uh, in a top tier scenario as i just said this is certainly the strength of this tank plus you can easily collect um Kill shots with this tank due to its uh, fantastic intra clip reload time okay perfect so let's uh, try to be the first one arriving at the adversary uh, remaining tanks position mm, so that i can collect all the damage here you go and okay hmm, so one shot and here you go nice so he is taken out let's uh, finally reload our clip 2200 damage 500 assisting damage and you go let's uh once again take those things one by one if this is possible okay they are okay they now know that i am here but i can at least collect some spotting damage and okay i missed this shot okay that's how it is but in the end i make 2300 damage and 600 assisting damage and so all in all a decent result in the skoda t17 and as you saw if you are in a top tier situation then you can really make use of your firepower and that's what you should certainly exploit in this tank all right third and last game in the skoda t17 and it's now time for a little conclusion and um, so all in all what do i think about this tank well in my opinion this is a pretty decent tank now after i saw some videos of other youtubers i thought that this tank is outstanding and the, the new best tier 7 light tank but when i played this tank i changed my opinion i think the gun handling is a bit too weak now this tank is is balanced um, don't get me wrong and it is after all this balanced effort of wargaming it is a above average tank absolutely however um the gun handling is so poor and the mobility is a bit lackluster plus the tank the, the tank's profile i should say is so huge that it really has some balancing balancing factors for it now i think this is good i like tanks which are balanced and i like tanks which are not op and so in my opinion wargaming did a great job balancing this tank um this tank is fun to play due to the uh, due to the fact that it is an autoloader tank however as i said it is pretty balanced um despite being above average um and so yeah i think good job wargaming however this is not the the best tier 7 light tank um i would say due to the better mobility and due to the due to the more precise gun i would actually say that the mx 1375 is the better tank overall however this one is perhaps more fun to play due to its uh, short intra clip reload um yeah that's how it is and i think you will find out that this tank really works well in a top tier scenario however if you are in a low tier scenario especially in a tier 9 battle then this tank is, starts to become lackluster of course the positive side is that as it is a light tank you can at least try to play the vision game and spot for your team however then on the other hand 
from tier 8 onward you will be able to use cvs on a on a light tank and so this is a really big drawback for this tank that's just how it is so in a, in a tier 7 light tank you are you are a bit let's say um handicapped when you are competing against top tier light tanks that's just how it is all right so let's now focus on this game and okay we're spotted so we want to evade out of the situation and we want to we want to um reload the clip and then push into the adversary base this is kind of a standard move that i have done or that i basically always do on this map so let's see how it goes and we want to push like this uh, follow the low ground so that we cannot get shot by tanks which are on the plateau on the a seven eight and b seven eight position can we get some shots into this tank yes we can of course and once again this is the funny side of this tank we can also um, spot some other tanks and maybe get some additional damage meanwhile we want to reload our clip and then proceed to another position so to position right here and maybe we can spot some tanks which are in those bushes over there no we cannot let's go up here we are not spotted so this tells me that there are no tanks in those in this bush line but here you go there's the su 152 that i want to spot in order to collect the, the spotting damage here you go nice so an additional 600 uh, approximately 700 spotting damage there's the scorpion uh the scope in the tier 8 uh, german tank destroyer which we can of course clip out with our with our clip so let's uh here you go let's fall back a bit in order to create double a double bush situation let's aim in and let's now simply empty our clip once again this is the advantage of this tank so 478 some sm slight low rolls but that's fine and all of a sudden we could increase our damage to overall about 2.6k combined excellent maybe some additional shots let me see we have to fully aim in because the gun is not too precise unfortunately this thing is not spotted anymore so let's continue and let's fall a little bit to the left um and okay i just pushed the reload button so i think that i will not be able to get any more damage of the scope in g however a little bit more spotting damage that's fine and i also think yep now he's dead and we will not get any more damage of the panther so yeah all in all a pretty fun tank to play certainly above average for compared to all the light tanks on its tier and um, a pretty decent job by wargaming to balance out this tank not making it op but making it fun to play and then also simply above average all right guys that was it for today with the video about the skoda t17 do you like this tank do you think it performs well on the battlefield do you think it is the best tier 7 light tank in the game just leave a comment in the comment section down below and as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up this really helps out with the youtube algorithm if you find this video extremely helpful then feel free to support me via super thanks this way you can make a one-time donation you just have to click this button underneath the video if you adore this channel and you want to consistently support me then consider subscribing to my channel or become a member once again with the click of a button underneath the video Thanks a lot and I see you next time in another World of Tanks video.